This skill is catheter care. This is one of two skills you'll be performing on a mannequin for your state certification exam. The purpose of catheter care is to provide basic care to a resident who has a catheter in order to prevent them from having an infection. Some things that we want to keep in mind for catheter care is make sure that you don't put your gloves on until after you have prepped the area and are ready to begin catheter care. Another thing is make sure that you don't allow the tubing to be pulled at any time during catheter care. And finally, make sure that you use single strokes when cleaning the catheter tubing so as not to reintroduce bacteria to the urethral area. Good morning, Ms. Dolly. I'm Katrina, your CNA today. I'm going to be doing your catheter care, but first let me wash my hands. So I'm verbalizing washing my hands. Then I provide privacy for the resident. Then we gather our supplies. Keep in mind when you gather your supplies, you don't want to touch your uniform. First thing we need is a towel for a barrier for our bedside table. So I'm going to place my barrier on the bedside table. You're also going to need a basin, your privacy blanket, and three to four washcloths, as well as your soap. Now I'm going to fill my basin with warm water. Okay, so now I can place this on our bedside table and move to our working side of the bed. You also want to take your hamper with you. Okay, so we're moving our bedside table to where we're going to be working so we don't have to go too far for our resident. Okay, now we want to make sure that we're working at a comfortable level, so we need to raise the bed to working height. We can also recline our resident. We want to make sure that we keep the resident covered at all times. So we'll go ahead and place our privacy blanket. Whenever you place the privacy blanket, make sure that you are not shaking it or fanning it. Just unfold it lightly on the resident. The purpose of the privacy blanket is to keep her covered, except for the areas in which we're working. After you've placed the privacy blanket, fan fold the covers down, only to expose the area in which we're working. That's the catheter. Now that we've got the area prepped, we can put our gloves on. This skill also requires that we verbalize a few things. We want to make sure there's no leakage around the urethra. After we verbalize that there is no leakage around the urethra, we want to also check for kinks in the tubing. There are no kinks in the tubing. And urine can flow freely into the drainage bag. Now, the first thing we do is we wet our towel. What I like to do is make sure that we have it the same way that it came off the shelf in the four-fold formation. We'll wet the towel completely. We'll squeeze it out. No soap goes into the basin. The soap only goes on the towel. So we'll place some soap on each leaf. One, pull that back. Two, the third one, and the fourth one. Okay, no soap in the basin. Form a good lather. We want to hold the catheter at least one inch away from the urethra so that we prevent tugging during this procedure. Remember, we want to clean with a clean stroke every time, one single stroke. The first stroke is going to be around the urethra and down, just like this. At that point, you'll pull one of the leaves back, so we're working with a new area of the towel. 
we're going to then clean the catheter tubing three to four inches away from the urethra. Pull it back one more time, three to four inches away, and use the last, last leaf three to four inches away. At this point, we're done with this towel. Place it in your linen basket. The next towel, no soap, because we're going to rinse. Same way, holding the catheter one inch away from the urethra, wiping around and down for a rinse. Pull that flap back, clean three to four inches away. Clean three to four inches away. Last leaf, clean three to four inches away. We discard this into the linen basket. Your last one is going to be a dry towel to dry the area. So we're going to do the same thing. Hold it one inch away from the urethra. Pat dry around the meatus and down. Pull back one flap and pat dry. Another flap and pat dry. And maybe one more and do it again. Discard that into the linen basket. At this point, you're done with your catheter care. You're going to pull this down, pull your covers back up, and then you remove the privacy blanket under the cover to maintain dignity and respect for your patient. Careful not to touch your uniform. This goes into your linen basket. Make sure your patient is neat before you leave them. Now we can let the bed back down. We're done working. We're going to take everything back to where we got it from. Any towel that you remove from the clean linen area is now soiled, even if you have not used it. So it needs to be discarded in the linen basket. We can also take this. Discard this one in the linen basket as well. We're going to go back to the sink to pour our water out, rinse and dry the container, and then replace our supplies. Okay, so I'm rinsing it out. my equipment and discard my paper towel and replace it on the shelf. At this point I can take my gloves off and discard them in the trash can. Now that I'm done, I'm going to push my privacy curtain back, let her rail down, provide her her call light. Miss Dolly, if you need anything, I'll be right down the hall. I'm washing my hands and I'm done.